Okay, so uh, we'll continue this part. Uh, mm, uh, let's see, maybe today or on Monday. So today I was doing one thing. I want to show how I was doing that one. So this is the website. So something, let's go to one of the things. So I created this theme, theme thing where I put the default, then it is going to the default and I am able to change the theme. So each one is having different, all are bootstrap themes, only the color and appearance is little different, font is different. So we will implement this part in our website. Today we will do only this part. So this is uh, this is how I did it. So I got some themes on the internet. So this is the themes which I got, and I put it somewhere, and we I implemented this thing. So from where I got this one, let's, I will show you the website. So I got this one. So I got this one from the website called as boots, bootswatch.com. I will give you in the chat. It's the website gave the theme, different theme. So they have a lot of themes like Edmund, Cosmo, all these other themes. So I used to uh, all this theme and created a panel like this and I used it. Once I put any select anyone, all the CSS gets changed. So we will do this part now today. The first thing is uh, I put all this uh, CSS on that website. I put it in the folder called as themes. So I will copy, I will copy the, this themes folder, it's in the public and I will copy same themes folder in our ultimate public folder. All the themes are now here. Now I'll go to the index.html and I'll delete the bootstrap CSS because it will come from the themes. It will come from the themes folder. One one we have default one which is nothing but uh, which I am deleting it. It's nothing but the one which we see in the default one. So the default one is same as the normal bootstrap which they provide. So I will delete the theme. Let's see how it looks now. So everything is broken because we deleted the bootstrap CSS. So uh, this one was the one thing which we did. Second thing is which we have to do is we have to call the CSS. Generally, we don't have we don't have uh, uh, right now. If I if I see, I have the import statement. So I cannot dynamically generate the import statement. So if you see here. This is a dynamic, so user is changing and it's dynamically calling the different CSS and it's using that CSS. So we need to 
we need to call the dynamic CSS, which is not possible with the import statement. So what I did, I created a, a in the source folder, I created a file called as themes.js file. So this is my themes.js file. And in this themes.js file, I will create a component and I will create few functions. One is called the constructor. Another one is uh, component data mount. Another one is, uh, I will say, page theme. And I'll pass the theme name. Another one which I will create is get theme and it will get the theme name and e tag. So, and here I will say e dot prevent default. And then I will call the fetch theme only. It's this dot fetch theme. theme whatever theme is passing here, I will call the ajax call to get the CSS file. In the component date mount also, I will call the fetch theme, this dot fetch theme. So there is a little bit change in this line of the code, which I will tell you in a couple of minutes. Here I will create the super props kind of thing. And now, so uh, the thing is that what we have to do, we have to call dynamically the the CSS which user has selected. So I should be able to show the select box or drop down what we see here. And we should be able to show this drop down. Okay, so let's build this drop down first. So this is the theme one where I will be building my drop down and how to build a drop down. So have to look here. So if I go to my nav multi dot js, so if I go to my flix and I will go to nav multi dot js, something I want to create like uh, I want to take the a tag, li tag like uh, this one because this one will come inside maybe inside here so here i want to show the theme for example i want to put the theme here okay so i want to put theme here so here it's in, already inside the ul tag so it should start from the li tag so if i take this li tag Let's copy this li tag and I will put it here. And here I will say instead of admin, I will say themes or themes, or themes whatever what? you prefer. I am putting theme. And then I will go to drop down menu. It will be, it's not multi level, so we don't need this one. It's only one level, so we don't need this one. So we start with the UL tag, and we have only drop down menu. And inside drop down menu, I will create a LA tag like this. One. So the LA tag will be a H reference. Here I I don't need anything. And it will be ended by a tag, and it will have the CSS name. So first CSS, if you see, first CSS name is called as the default. So I will create a default one. So let's create the first CSS with the default one. 
So I'll put it here as a name as a default. And on click of this a tag, I will call this dot get theme dot bind this comma. comma I'll pass the name of the theme that is the default, and I'll close the curly bracket. So whenever user will click this default, it will go to get theme, and it will. Pass the theme as a default, which is going here, and I am passing this theme to the fetch theme. And so here we have to write the Ajax call to get the theme. So when I come to the fetch theme, I will first do I will save the theme in the local storage. Dot set item. And I'll name it as a theme, and whatever theme I am passing. I'm putting in the local storage because when user will refresh the page, I want to keep the theme saved. So now what I will do, I will say let URL is equal to. I will create a URL. It will go to the themes folder, and then it will go to the theme, particular theme, whatever theme I have selected. Maybe default. It will go to default one. Plus it will go inside that theme folder. We have Bootstrap. So if I go to the themes folder in the public, I have a themes folder. Inside that, I will choose the theme. Maybe I can say Cosmo, or I will say Journal, or I will say Lumen. So this theme will be that this folder name. And inside each folder, we have the Bootstrap file, which I am putting it here. Now I will create a fetch function. This is a fetch REST API call. I will say fetch, and here I have to pass the URL, and I have to pass the options. In the options, first option is called as a method. Method is a get, and after we fetch it, we call the then function, and then is nothing but an arrow function. After then, we call another then function. This is also an arrow function. After that, I call the catch function, and catch is also an arrow function. Now, first then will get a response, and I have to return. Generally, I return. Whenever I deal with the JSON file, I return response dot JSON. Remember our old lecture, we call it and by response dot JSON. But here we don't get JSON, we get the CSS file. So we have to use another function called the text response dot text. And then we get finally we get the we get the, the response that is the CSS content. And I will name it as a J, whatever content is coming here. And this J, I have to save it in the some state variable. As I will say this dot state, and I will say maybe I can say state name. I will give the theme, and I will pass the value of J. And catch right now I'll not put, but later I will update it with some error if we get something. Otherwise, I don't need it right now. And here I will create a variable state variable, and that will be theme. Initially, it will be null. So once I get something from the server, I will update it the state, and then I have to show that this state somewhere in the Here in my HTML, so maybe inside that default, inside that default, I will create the style tag. I will create a style tag, and that style tag will get the variable called as this dot state dot t. So whatever state I put. It goes into this variable, and that variable I am putting it here. I 
I can put anywhere this, but this ally tag will not break anywhere. So I put it inside the ally tag. So like this. First, let me copy this ally tag and I will put this style tag inside the ally tag, but it will not break anything on the page because it's in the ally tag. And now I will I will go through each folder and I will create a link for that one. So like this, I will create all the links. So that when user will choose second one, it will use this one to get the bootstrap CSS file. So I already have that in my in my that website which I showed you so I'm just copying from that one so I don't need to, to copy paste again so I got all the one links here so now what will happen if I choose this one Cosmo the Cosmo will call the get theme and get theme will go to the face theme face theme will go to the URL and get the get the CSS file and it will update the state and once the state is updated it will be displayed it here and since it is in the style tag it will apply style to our whole website and now I will call the theme here so let's call the theme I will say import and we'll see where exactly I have to call the theme import the theme so where exactly is the theme I am inside the my flakes and I'm going one level up two level up after I go two level up I'm getting themes I will call the theme from two level up then I will say theme dot base and I will take this theme and I will put it here on the theme Here I will say theme and theme. Let's see if it works or it gives the error. So now, let's uh, check. So let me refresh again and see. So it's calling the bootstrap, but it is uh, not getting the proper file name. So maybe it's going to the themes folder and it goes to the theme and here where exactly going themes. So it's not getting this theme one because in the component did mount, I did not call anything. So let's fix this component did mount. So whenever the component did mount, that means whenever the page is loaded, I will first check whether local storage has some theme or not. So I will say let theme is equal to local storage dot get theme. And I'll give the uh, theme letter because this is the theme we are saving in the local storage with the key of theme. So I'm giving the key of theme. So if, if I have already called the fetch theme, it will be in the local storage. 
and I will say if not theme, if theme is not there, I will create a theme variable which called as a default and then I will pass this theme here. And if we have already saved in the local storage, it will get that theme and it will take that theme and it will pass to the fetch theme. Let's see. Okay, local storage dot, dot get theme is not a function, it should be get item. So still it's not coming properly. Still it's going themes and undefined. So it's not going properly. Let's check the URL. So it's still not here and we are getting the URL undefined. That means the theme is not properly passed into the fetch theme. Let's see what is the theme here. So here also theme is undefined. The theme is undefined. I will say our theme is equal to equal to equal to undefined. Okay, let's see now. Still theme is going undefined. Okay, let's make this theme as a default first. And let's see if we are getting default or not now. Okay, now I'm getting the default. Now if I refresh it, I'm getting default. So if I delete my if I might delete my this theme and then if I refresh this, I'm getting default and theme is updated. Theme should be updated with the default one and then if I change it, then it is changing. And it is saving in the theme as a local storage. So if I refresh the page, then also I'm getting the theme. Let's do one more thing. If I if I comment this one. Let's see what happens. I'm not getting any CSS. Okay, so if I hmm. so if I don't pass anything, I'm getting this one. It's if I remove this return false, and I'm getting it. So initially, when the page load, it's uh, there is a small glitch where we see where we see something is the white. What if I not remove bootstrap from the index.html enable that so if i go to my index.html 
and I don't remove bootstrap.css. And if I try to change it, and now if I refresh it, it is initially for a second, it is uh, default and then it overrides with the new one. So I'm not deleting this one because when page load, if I remove the this part, it's not looking good. It's looking very bad and then suddenly things come. But if I keep it like this, initially for a second, it is going to the default one and then it is diverting to the theme which I have selected. So this looks good at least. So that's it for today. Tomorrow we will do, on Monday we'll do the category and subcategory. And uh, then, Tuesday we will go with the videos and then Wednesday we will display the videos on the main page and Thursday or Friday we will try to improve the looks of the front page so that it should uh, look a little nicer and we will create a detail page so that other users can see. So maybe next week or next to next week we will continue with this MyFlex. Maybe in between I switch to another subject another uh, maybe in between i switch to another project also so it may go a little delayed we, we can start a little bit on other subject also so this is fine which we can use it with a category and subcategory it will take little uh, they are bigger enough so i want to complete that in the on monday let's do the uh, something of our online Rx. So in the online Rx, since we got the theme one, we will copy the theme part here also, the same what we did in the, here in this one. So we imported the themes, same thing we'll import it here in the online Rx and then we will call the themes here and we'll call the themes part here. We'll also call auth part. Same thing we'll call here and we will also put auth part here in the online Rx. And now I will go to my configuration and I will change it to the online Rx to see how it looks. So now I will make this online rx.info. This domain is not there. I will change that domain. Right now I'm just putting a dummy domain. So now it's online Rx. So this part is same. So this uh, text is not looking good. We, we can improve the theme variables anytime. Some people like this dark one. So what, uh, what things we have to put in this website? Let's... Uh, Let's go to main home page. So let's plan out something on this one and then we'll stop. Uh, because this also we'll do together with the MyFlex. So we will do now only planning of this one, how the things will go. If I open the readme for planning, so how things will look in this one. So here, we have the two sections. One section will be for the doctors and one section will be for the patients. This online treatment is purely based on homeopathic system of medicine which 
people don't believe now in us nobody believes in this system in india they have lot more people who believe in this system so i want to make some website so that whole world can know this system of medicine so it's not acupuncture no acupuncture no acupressure no magnetotherapy it's only on the homeopathic system of medicine because people are investing too much money on the modern medicine whereas with this system of medicine you can have a <clears throat> better health and with cheaper rate so i want to introduce something this in whole world so it will have two parts so this part will go separately and this part will go separately let's talk about this part first because this is a whole big part so a user will log into the website and he will create patients or profiles or patients maybe he has family member four family members are there in his uh, home so he can create all the people's profile in this website so maybe he can say family member 1 so he will put the name of the family member family member 2 and we say family member 3 like this he will add <clears throat> the name of the family with uh, other details like age birth date date of birth uh, and maybe address phone number and etc etc he will put all the details so let's say if i'm going to the family number 1 i'm building this for homeopathic system you can build same thing for acupuncture and other things or modern medicine also but this is only for this system so if i'm going to the family member 1 he will put his all the history so this history is very big there are a lot of questions we have to ask so for example first page will be his uh, main problem what he is suffering from blah blah, blah. maybe saying pressure he will describe whatever he he is suffering from main problem then he will put all the details so this form is very big for the family one there are a lot of questions are there you know first question is only main problem and there are a lot more which i will tell you when the time will come and he will also update this history there will be history of symptoms so maybe what he can do he will go in the morning of today is 5th january so he will let it go to 5th he will put the date 5th january 2018 he will say he is feeling headache in morning after before breakfast something like that something whatever he feel he will put like this and he will say on the 6th jan he will go on the website so this is the history whatever he is feeling daily he will put those details symptoms there on the website maybe he is saying uh, on the 6th uh, no headache because on 5th it was headache on 6th no headache maybe he is a diabetic patient he will say diabetes and o5 it's a normal but let's say 101 or 10 100 whatever it is he will put that reading also so like this whole history will go into his thing still that he has not chosen the doctor this is irrespective of doctor people will go and put all his details so this is one part we have to build this is a very big form i will share that form later on when i am when we reach to that form right now only just remember two things which they will put but there are lot more things maybe thousand things are there they can fill gradually not in one day some day they will put something there is likings for example likings of food so one day he will put uh, let's say he like sweet or he like salty and next day he will go he will put his fears he has fear of death for example 
or fear of darkness. So he has to put all his uh, whatever he is feeling or whatever he thinks, he has to put in his history. And after he is done or whenever he is ready, he can. And we since we will take the address of this one. And so whenever we will take the address, there will be one doctor automatically assigned to this person. So for example, there are three doctors. Dr. A, Dr. B, Dr. C. So one doctor will be assigned. For example, if Dr. A is near to his address, then we will assign this doctor to this person. Whether he can change the doctor or not, that will we'll put it in the phase two. Phase one will be he cannot change the doctor. He has to use this doctor only, whatever he got assigned. So what he will do, he will book the consultation. So where we will get the booking item also. So we can use the use of booking also. So he will book the time and date with this doctor. Appointment time. On that day, and when he booked the appointment time, he has to pay the consultation fee, right? He will only pay the consultation fee to this doctor when booking the appointment. Then on that day and later on, he can postpone that uh, appointment or he can cancel it also. When he cancel it, uh, he cannot cancel it actually because it's fees is already paid to that doctor, he can postpone it, maybe he's busy, he can take it, that fee will be, uh, you know, used in the postponement, in next appointment, whenever he has the time. But he cannot cancel it. If he does by mistake, then he can cancel it and we have to refund him back. And from this consultation fee, let's say our website will take some 10% of charges. Okay, this is our fees for this consultation charge. So now, uh, once he book and when the time will come, date and time will come, and they have to go to the chat, which we have already built, they have to go to the chat and then they can chat there. So chat will be used, which we have already built it. We don't need to build the chat part. We will just integrate the chat here in this one. And then after that discussion is done, doctor can see all his details also because uh, he, he, this doctor is the doctor for this member. So doctor can watch and can use of this one. And then, uh, then, doctor will prescribe the medicine. So the medicine will not be from the store. They have to go to the doctor's address and they have to pick up from there. Prescribe the medicine. So this medicine, homeopathic medicine generally is not available properly on the market. So doctor has to keep themselves that medicine. They cannot give from outside. They will go and pick up the medicine and then they have to, uh, once the consultation is done, the doctor will tell them what is the medicine charges. So they have to pay dollar, let's say 100 for medicine, for example, I'm just putting, it may be 20, it may be 10, it may be anything. So once they put that, whatever amount of medicine is there, from that also 10% will go to admin of the website. So we are earning that one. Something I will be earning it. And the $90 will go to the doctor, for example. And in the $90, we will see how we are distributing the $90 because $90 also we have to, uh, we have to deduct some fees for the referral fee. So let's say if someone is referring to our website, we have to pay referral fee to that person. And there are some other extra charges, which I will discuss in future. 
So this will, once they will pay it, doctor will make the medicine ready maybe same day. If it is urgent problem, they can go immediately. Or if it's not urgent problem, they can go today or tomorrow or whenever they want to go. And then after one month, and doctor will say come after one month. After one month, the uh, patient will again schedule the in, in, uh, appointment. So he will pay the fee whatever fee it is and it will go 10 percent will go to us and same loop will happen they will chat it and then doctor will make the web uh, medicine ready and then he will pick up so this is something which will go on continuously go on so this is about the family patient let's talk about doctors so Doctor will come on the website, he will fill all his details and then he will upload his documents because I need to check whether he's a valid doctor or he is something, he's just pretending to be the doctor. So he will upload all the documents. And doctor has to take little bit uh, training. So there will be few people who will train because these are the doctors who are already trained, but uh, there are some rules to be followed on our website. They cannot uh, do random practice. They have to follow the rules. So there is one month of training which they have to go through. So once uh, the upload, they upload the document, the doctor will be approved or not. So if doctor is approved, they have to take appointment for the training and they have to pay the fee for the training. So there will be training given by some persons and they will charge something for the training. Let's say they will charge $1.50, for example. It may be 25, maybe 100, I don't know. So they have to take appointment for the training and the status will be pending training. So here the status will be pending training. So once the training is done, uh, once they take the appointment and they go with the 30 day training with that person trainer, every day it will be five, 10 minutes or half an hour. I don't know. We will decide that one. After 30 days, the status will be ready. That is, he is already trained. Once he is ready, people can see his name on the website and there will be, he can then get the patients after that one. So uh, this is the high level thing. A lot of things I have missed in this one because I don't know now. Once I will start building it, I will be, I will be deciding many things on it. So one of the thing is, uh, uh, one of the thing is uh, we have to build something kind of this interface. Okay, this I built long back in Angular. We have to build it in the React again. So this is just a helper kind of thing for doctors only. So they can choose the problem. These are the few diseases or disorders I have put it here. So for example, some person is saying he is having uh, diabetes. Let's say diabetes, where is the diabetes? Here. So doctor uh, and he, a doctor will check what is the pulse? What is how the pulse is going on? And how is the color of the tongue is there? And once he choose the tongue and pulse, he will get idea what kind of medicine he has to prescribe. So this is just for doctor, we will build something. Doctors can uh, get a help for each disease, which medicine they have to prescribe kind of thing. So for example, uh, Kate was suffering from the throat problem. Let's see if we can find something for her. So it will go into Mm -hmm. So 
because this throat problem is very minor problem this this is a list of the major problems so you won't find the throat exactly because this is a limited uh, data i have put it i don't have the full data so but it will go to some kind of uh, respiratory problems kind of because throat is related into the respiratory kind of problem so maybe we can choose any one of this and then we can choose the tongue and the pulse based on that one the medicine will be prescribed and he can take that one. so some kind of interface we will build this for doctors also okay so that's it for the high level one and today what we did we did uh, this theme part right with this theme part we can change the theme of it so the chat one will be since since the chat one if we have to if we feel that chat is different in particular project then we will copy that module for example that module where is that module so for example if i feel if i feel that chat is different for the myflix and different for the online treatment then i will copy this chat and i will put it in the here in this folder and i will edit it but chat is something which i have built it it's a kind of a generic one and we can use it in any of the project so i don't need to put it into the each folder right each but part, yeah my i understand that part my my question was you know you have this you have this chat module that right it's consistent and you have it in a hundred different apps right but you decide to upgrade it with new features but you want those features to be in all 100 apps yes would you have to, you'd basically would you have to you would have to copy that into each project in order for it to be current or is there a way of installing that upgrade no, okay i'm not i'm not clear on your question you are saying that uh, we have already checked in 100 projects right yeah and then we need to upgrade it right yeah and you like on like you know in in node or npm you know you do npm upgrade or something yeah, but, of that nature um but here we don't need to do that let's say this chat is used by myflix and online rx and if we are putting some new features in this chat so it will go inside in modules folder only and it will automatically update it in this site and this site but if right. you are making right. yeah what but is these, it? these are all these are all in the same project so yeah they're gonna all get the update but if you had a hundred separate projects okay so you, you are saying, then, okay you are saying like this ultimate we have ultimate two, ultimate three, ultimate four, and ultimate hundred kind of thing, right? Right. When you're updating in one, we should get updated in all the hundred projects, right? Yeah. Is there is there a way of doing that, or do you just have to do it manually? Uh, the manual thing is definitely there. You can copy this part in all the projects, whatever changes you have done. But uh, if you want to make it like npm then you can also publish this chat on the npm website but then anyone can take that uh, your one it will be not private to you because once you push it to the npm website you can publish it on npm also and if you publish it npm anyone can use it but if it's your personal chat then you won't like to you would not like to share it with others so you want it to keep for yourself so in that case you need to update in all the all the projects but if you want you can put it inside the you can build some kind of component and put it into the npm and then you can get it npm install it will get installed like that also you can do but if you do that step it's always public it can't be private yeah, it cannot be private okay i was just curious yeah So, uh, so this is how we will build because we are going to build this part also. 
and with MyFlex, because MyFlex is a very small website. It will be, it's uh, you know, it will build only categories, videos, and display the videos for the phase one. In the phase two, we may add more feature kind of thing, and we have to display the videos to the user. But this one will go, it's a very big one, and uh, it has many lot more features, and we are earning from this. So this, we have to pay more attention on this one, because we will be earning from it. But here we will not be earning for it. So we have to may pay more attention on this website rather than that one. Okay. 